Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna show you how to connect a Bluetooth LE MIDI controller into the DreamFoot app. Today I have the iRig Blue Board by Ica Multimedia, so let me show you how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is that we want to power the iRig Blue Board on the MIDI Bluetooth mode. To do that, we're going to turn it on while holding C. Once it blinks, it means that it's ready to connect. Now let's go to the DreamFoot app, go to settings. We're going to go to Bluetooth MIDI and we're going to connect. Once it's connected, we're going to go to MIDI in and select the iRig blue board. Now we're going to MIDI map each button to the functions. So press MIDI map. I'm going to select play, map it to D, map sustain, map the up arrow, and the down arrow. So now, if I start playing, you see that everything is going to work. Now, one new feature that we added is the advanced MIDI settings. If you go to MIDI and go to advanced MIDI settings, you'll see that we have three modes, custom, momentary, and latch. Custom is the basic mode that you turn on sustain and you're able to switch chords. Momentary is one of my favorites because it acts just like it would be if I was playing piano with my hands. If I'm playing piano with my hands, every time I press the key, the chord is going to sustain until I release. This is how it works. I don't need to enable sustain. All I need to do is to press and while I'm holding down, the chord sustains. When I release, it stops. This is a great feature if you want to be a little bit more organic with your playing and you don't want to have to rely on the sustain function. Our latch mode simply works like a latch. It turns on and off. So if I press, it holds the cord. If I press again, it turns it off. Now you know how you can connect Bluetooth devices directly to the DreamFoot app. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you on the next one.